Hello and welcome back to Art Masters with me, Mrs. Portia. Today we are going to be doing art by Edgar Degas. I love his art. He does these great images of ballerinas. He did orchestras and horse races and he really captured things almost like a photo with a lot of movement. No one's looking right at the camera. It looks like he captured them in the moment of what they were doing. So he was actually a great artist. He could draw, he could sculpt. So today we're going to do some drawings. And to make our drawings more exact and easier to do, we're gonna do grid drawings. We're gonna do a bow, just like these ballerina bows, nice and big and even kind of loose in their drawing. It doesn't look perfectly rendered. So we're going to be doing a grid drawing where we draw by each box. But instead of thinking about drawing a bow, we're gonna turn off our left brain. Our left brain likes to plan, count, read. It's really analytical, it likes to think. So we wanna use our right brain where we invent, we feel, we do ideas, and it's still thinking, but not as much. So we're gonna try to draw with our right brain today. And a way to do that is when we draw, we're gonna turn our image upside down. So we're just drawing what we see. We're not thinking about a bow. So we are going to get started with our Edgar Degas drawing. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab our manila paper. I'm going to fold my paper into fours. So the way I fold it into fours is I grab it and I'm going to fold it down. And I like to pinch these edges when they're touching to try to get a nice straight fold. We want four even squares. So now I'm gonna have my folded paper and I'm gonna fold it again by pinching the tops, pinching the bottom together when it's even, and then pinching it again. And then when I open it, I have four boxes. So go ahead and have your helper, your teacher hand out the manila paper, and then you're gonna fold it into fours, fold it in half. We're gonna grab a pencil. You're gonna watch first. You're gonna grab your pencil, and then we should have a grid of the bow that we're gonna draw today. So, like we talked about before, we're gonna use our right brain. So we're not drawing a bow, we are just drawing. So everyone's gonna turn their bow upside down. Not only are we not really thinking about a bow, we're actually gonna draw box by box. So that means so we're going to be looking at one box at a time. This is called grid drawing. So a lot of times in art, the way I split up a canvas or a piece of paper is you measure where the middle of the paper is on each side. And then even within those squares, we have the middle of the square. And then you put points on your paper and that's how you lay out your drawing. So the first dot we're gonna do is this dot right here. And you can see if I lay my pencil right in the middle of my box, that dot is just to the side of the middle of my box and a little bit below the top. So I'm gonna to go to this box over here. I'm gonna to point to the middle. I'm just looking at this box right here, this upper left-hand corner box. So I'm putting my pencil right in the middle and I'm gonna put my dot just to the right of the middle and below the top. This doesn't have to be perfect, but you see it's not touching the very top and it's not right in the middle. So we're gonna call this dot number one. So dot number two I have right here. Again, I'm gonna take my pencil because I like to use this to measure. So now I'm looking for dot number two. This is about the middle of my box. I laid my pencil there. And you can see this dot is below the middle 
and it's not quite touching the side of the paper. So dot number two, going back to my box over here, I'm gonna set my pencil down. That's about, dot number two is below the middle, right, below my pencil line, and it's not quite touching the side. So I'm gonna put it about here. And then once I get those first two dots, I'm gonna connect them. And if you look at my drawing, the line's not perfectly straight, it's a little bit curved. And guess what? At the end, we're gonna go over everything with black marker. So the initial dots and drawing is a sketch, and then we'll turn it over and we'll fix it after. So I have my dot one and two, I'm gonna connect it with a curving line. So you guys are gonna get your bow, turn it upside down, cover the paper, and then we're gonna do dot one, and two, and you're gonna pause it so you can see where my dot is, and then you're gonna connect the line and come back to me. So again, I'm gonna lay my pencil down here, and dot number three is very close to the middle of the box, and it's actually touching the line at the bottom. So about in the middle and it's touching the line. So this is my line here. So I'm gonna do dot three about there. Dot four is actually right dead in the center of, of this intersection here. So I'm gonna put dot four, maybe just a little bit to the side of that intersection of all four squares. And now I'm going to connect the dots again. Perfect, so I'm gonna connect dot two and three right here and I'm gonna add a little bit of a curve. I'm kind of sketching lightly because I'm gonna go over it later. And now I'm gonna take dot one, which is this top dot, and I'm gonna connect it to the middle of the paper. This curve kind of goes in like a C almost. And connect. Okay, great, so go ahead and pause it and you're gonna add dot three and four, and then you're gonna connect those dots with your pencil. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this little kind of triangle shape here, and I'm going to measure again with my pencil by laying my pencil in the middle. About Oh, and very convenient. Dot five is about in the middle of the paper, the box, right on the line. That's convenient for us. So I'm gonna lay my pencil down about in the middle of my box. I'm gonna put my finger there and I'm gonna call that dot five. And then dot six is just below dot five. Not really. Then the next dot we're gonna add is gonna finish this box is dot seven. So looking at dot seven, it's above dot five, kind of inside from the line. So I'm gonna go back to my dot here. I'm gonna go inside and put a point there. Now I'm gonna connect the dots and make it a triangle. Nice job, guys. So now we're moving on to our next box, our next section. Okay, so you can see I have these two dots from my other box that I can still see and I'm gonna use those. So the next dot I'm going to add is this dot down here because it's right next to my line. It's just a little bit inside. So I'm gonna to go to my line and I'm just gonna go, so this is my crease right here. I'm just gonna go a little bit to the right of the crease to add my number eight dot. And then I'm gonna measure about the middle and I see my number nine dot right where the line is going is a little bit to the left of the middle or to the inside of the middle. So I'm gonna lay my pencil down for my middle spot, put my finger just to the left, and we're gonna call that dot number nine. Just above nine, we're gonna add another dot, but it's a little bit to the right of nine. It's not directly above it. It's just a little bit to the right kind of in the middle, below this line. I'm gonna add another dot. So now I'm going to connect those dots. I'm going to go from nine to this dot, make it kind of curved. 
And then I'm actually going to connect this dot to this one on this crease, and I'm going to add a curve to it. Okay, and then I'm actually going to use this dot that was on the other box, and I'm going to connect it to this dot here. Kind of like we're making our own connect the dots, aren't we? Okay, so everyone go ahead and add dot eight, nine, and then you're going to add this little dot above here, and then you're going to connect. And you're basically Okay, great job guys. So now we have two boxes done. We're gonna move to the next box. And I can see dot 10, it's not quite on this line. It's a little below it. And it's just a little bit on the outside of the middle or to the right of the middle. So I'm gonna put my pencil in my box about the middle. And 10 is just to the right of the middle or to the outside and not quite touching the line. So I'm just gonna put a dot there. So this dot is actually very close to this outside line and just below the middle when I'm cutting it horizontally like this. So I'm gonna put my pencil here horizontally this time for the middle and that dot is just below and, to and then I'm going to connect these two dots using a not quite straight line little bit curved, almost like a backwards S. Okay, moving on, we're putting this very important dot, number 12. So the reason it's important is because this is gonna be a connecting point for a lot of lines. So I'm putting my pencil horizontally, roughly in the middle of this box, and you can see 12 is just below the middle and it's right on this folded line. So I'm going to put my pencil roughly in the middle of this box here, and I'm gonna put my finger right below it, and I'm putting a dot right on this fold. It's right on my fold, right in the middle. So the next line we're going to connect is this dot up here that's already drawn. I'm going to connect it to 12, and I'm gonna keep my line curved and light because I might erase some stuff a little bit later. Next, I'm going to take this dot here and I'm going to connect it to dot 12. We are actually just going to take this dot here and we're just gonna draw a little connecting shape right there, just like a little curved shape until you hit this line. Curved shape. And then the last connecting the dot line is going to be 11 to 12, but it's not a straight line, it's a big curve. So I'm going to curve and connect. Awesome. There's just one more detail on this box is we're just gonna kinda do this half square around dot 12. So you could put dots if you want, but just go around dot 12 and you're just gonna kind of put this half square going around dot 12. We're going to move to our bottom box, the last box. So we're going to add this dot 13. It's kind of the edge of the bow. So I'm gonna place my pencil in the middle, just like that. And you can see 13 is just to the left of the middle and it's not quite touching this bottom line. So I'm going to put my pencil in the middle of my box over here. 13 is just to the left and up, not quite touching the line. So I'm gonna put my pencil here and let's see, I can see that this dot is just to the left of the middle so I'm gonna put my pencil here, and I know that it's inside. Dot 14 is past number three. So I don't wanna line it up with this dot, I wanna put it past it, and then a little bit down. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna put our dots 13 and 14, and I'm gonna connect them with a slightly curved line. Okay, next we're gonna put dot 15. And if you look here, dot three and 15 are almost right in line with each other. 15 is just a little bit inside. 
and I'm going to connect with a curve Oop, right there. I'm also going to keep going to my very important dot 12. So I'm gonna go from here all the way to dot 12. And then I'm going to add the other curved line, just a curved point right here, a little bit inside. It's actually perfectly aligned with 15. So I'm gonna use my pencil. I'm gonna do that. Add your curved line. And I'm gonna keep going and connect to dot 12. Now we are going to connect this dot here to our important dot 12. So I'm just gonna kinda go over the edge and meet at dot 12. And you see I have some crisscrossy lines, that's okay. I'm gonna erase them and do details later. And then the last connection I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue this little um, half square around my bow. Great job, you guys. Let's turn over our bow. So now we're gonna turn our brain back on. We're gonna start thinking um, with our left side brain and we wanna make this look like the picture. So I'm gonna use my picture here and I'm gonna add some of the details. I can see I need this curved line, this little detail. So I'm gonna go to my dot that's down here and this kind of touches the edge of this square in the center. Then I see I need to do that on the other side. Pause and add those two curves I just added. From The next thing I'm seeing is I want to erase this line right here in this box. So I'm gonna... The other thing I'm going to do before you pause is I'm gonna add these two just detail curved lines in the middle. So, so go ahead and erase this little line here and then add two little middle, middle lines that are details. And now that I kind of have everything laid out, I'm gonna erase my dot and those lines. And then my last little detail lines are these little bow shoop. Okay, my friends, we should all have a special black pen. I'm gonna start with my square in the middle, and then you're going to trace the rest of the bow, the outline, with your black pen. Now that your pen is there, you could go through and erase any of your dots or extra lines. And we're going to maybe pick one or two colors and we're just going to lightly color our bow. Okay, so you see how I use the side of my chalk to just put a little bit of color down? And then if you have a little bit of tissue, you could just rub little, um, I like to do little tiny circles. It kind of gives it a nice blended look. Okay, that looks awesome. And then if you guys are done, you can write your name on the back you can glue the Edgar Degas. Awesome job today, guys. I know you just love turning those bows upside down, didn't you? I hope that once you turned it right side up, that you were able to get a nice looking bow. And if you have time, you guys can analyze and evaluate each other's drawing, pointing out the drawing, the colors, the line work and anything you liked about each other's drawings. So great job. I hope you had a great time doing Edgar Degas.